Good evening, everybody. It's your boy, Do It With Dementia, and what is going on? I have, uh, I've been on a slight hiatus. Family came in for Thanksgiving and my dad and I built a fence, which took about eight days. And uh, I've been busy. It's been a lot of work. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> it was a lot of effort for two men to do. Good news is I recorded the whole thing and we'll be, uh, there'll be a YouTube video coming about that. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Me and my dad building a fence. And by the way, the fence, I'm not bragging. It's fucking perfect. And I'll show you how we did it. I'll show you the, the tips and tricks. My dad's not gonna gatekeep no pun intended, uh, when we built the gate or when we built the fence, but that is coming to you guys very soon. Anyways, I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I know that I did. <laughs> Regardless, I have a roasting video for you guys today. I'm gonna roast you guys as cars. I know we've been doing motorcycles, but this was heavily requested amongst you uh, dickheads. So my fellow caught eyes, please sit down and watch this as we roast some of y'all's cars. Um, I also don't know where to start because this, I mean, this goes way back. Like my Discord is so backed up with crazy shit. By the way, there is a link in the description if you want to join my Discord and submit your own cars or your own motorcycles or maybe your whatever. I can roast it later. You can share with the community. It's a really good community. We have a good good group of people in here and I try to be as active as I can. It's not a bullshit Discord. It's like a real Discord. So yeah, if you want to have your car roasted or your motorcycle roasted, hop into our Discord. Link's in the description. I would prefer multiple photos and or videos of one vehicle. Don't spam your shit. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! It's my license plate frame! I make these! I make these! And we currently do have a holiday sale going on right now. Uh, gets you 25% off the entire website up until December 15th using the code HOLIDAN. Link in the description for that as well. You know what? This is a good place to start with my buddy Otto back in 2022. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna start this far back, but Otto, I like your Mustang. All right, we're gonna start in April of 2023. Jay dog with his, uh, with his Ute. Uh, special place in my heart for these kind of things. What size engine is that? It's like a V8. Uh, this is Pontiac or a Holden if you're not from America. It's gonna be an Australian vehicle. Uh, these came with LS motors. They're essentially made by Chevrolet. They're all made by Chevrolet. This one's also right-hand drive if you can see. So I'm gonna assume this guy's in Australia. NSW, okay, that's Australia. He's in Australia. This is an eight out of 10, no matter how you cut it. I think car trucks are fucking cool. I wish they'd bring back the El Camino. I wish they'd bring Holden Utes or just Utes in general to the US. I, and you can't import these. They're not old enough to import, not yet. The next, I think the next eight years, we can start getting these, I think so. Eight out of 10. Oh, uh, Wolf Brian, this guy is, he's in our Twitch streams a lot. Wolf apparently stands for volunteer firefighter. Good to see you, Brian. He's got a snow plow on his truck. You can tell this guy, this guy's such a firefighter. This guy's such a, I need to rescue people type of guy that he's put a snow plow in the front of his, probably his personal truck so he can go around digging people out of dishes. There's some people who are just designed to help people, man. At the dump, contributing to the environment waste. I hope he had some batteries and some uh, coolant in there. Fuck, man. I don't know. I was gonna give it a low score, but this is a dutiful, built truck that gets used. I'm gonna give this a six and a half out of 10. Ziddy with a Magnum. Ooh. This kind of car gets gets me in the same way Utes do, where it's like, I like wagons. I think wagons are cool. I wish they would bring back the Dodge Magnum and put a Hellcat motor in it. I think that would be cool. As like a, a CTSV wagon lover, I would love to see something like that. But wagons do not get the same amount of love and respect as other cars. And he's using it. Look at this. Fucking lumber. This guy is is hauling lumber in his uh, sports wagon. Personally, like, I'm not a fan of the grill that you've given it. You know, HID headlights. 3.5 liter. I get it. You know, these did come in a Hemi. Those come in a 5.7. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Never mind. He fits an entire bourbon barrel back there. 6.5 out of 10. Nam Chomsky, I recognize that name. He's got a uh, 2013 Abarth, calls it a street legal, California legal go-kart. You know, like, dude, a Fiat Abarth, really, for the price. If you're gonna do anything other than just drive your car, it's a fun little sports car. It's light, it's flickable. They have whole racing series for these cars. It's kind of like an Italian Miata, if we were being real. The looks, I, it's, it's personal. I don't wanna be rude. I don't think they look awesome. I think they look like fucking smart cars that someone when he went, Ugh. someone like squished a smart car. They went from hamburger to hot dog on a, on a smart car. Outside of that, they perform good. They're relatively reliable from what I understand, even though they're Fiat. Everyone knows what Fiat stands for, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, dude? I'll give this a five out of 10. Five out of 10. Fallen, he's got a, uh, what is it, SN95? Is that the designation for these Mustangs? I, I'm not a Mustang guy. I'm not as super educated in them. This is my favorite 
gear Mustang, the style, this body style, which I think is kind of like one of the more unloved, but like a Cobra, like a Cobra in this, in this year. I fucking love it. I do. It looks like he's uh, clean looking headlights. It's relatively clean. So I'm going to give you a seven out of 10 fallen. seven out of 10. My 2016 GTI Stage 2 EQT. Uh, I'm gonna have to be careful what I say about this. A friend of mine that lives in my neighborhood has a Golf now. He's he's over in the Golf Golf life. It's a different breed. I've been learning about them since he got his. It's cool. I see it every day. A lot about these things can make a ton of power. That's the equivalent of truck dudes that are like. A stage two, I'm assuming that's what, like intake, hotter plugs maybe. They're turbo, right? Maybe like a little bit more boost, blow off valve, exhaust, pop and bang tune. You got around like 280 to 300 wheel. Does that sound about right? Oh, dude, we got a Saab. Saab was such like an interesting car to me because you don't see them in the US ever. I don't know, they kind of remind me of Volvos. They're like a, like a, like a Volvo tier. Who owns Saab? Saab, some of its vehicles were released with, under ownership of General Motors. That's weird, no wonder why they suck. Four out of 10? I don't know. Handsome Awkward, 2012 Camaro SS, cammed long tubes, intake dyno, 471, 460. You're attacking me directly here. I like it. I like it. I like the wheels. He went with the uh, Z28 style wheels. I think they look so good on the fifth gens. It makes them look so aggressive. Um, other than that, no crazy body modifications. It looks relatively simple. It's silver. It's like the safest color to go with when it comes to GM cars. Tail, is this is this the dragon? Are you, you ripping up the dragon with your GTI buddies? Yeah. Let me guess, he kept up too, man, because the car weighs half. A cammed LS3, fucking A, that's immediate, that starts at a seven and works its way up. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half because it's clean, it's classy, nothing stands out to me. Probably a comfortable daily driver. See the blood and his 1999 Ford F-150. Oh, it's got the 5.4, that's the Triton motor, Triton motor. That's the same block that they use in the Ford GT, I tell you what. You need new tires soon, I'll give you that. Light bar, these headlights, like, you don't have to tell me that these headlights suck. I can, I know that these headlights suck. <laughs> they look all right, they look all right, but they're they're not great quality. Front grill's cracked, that's pretty standard. Those hoods lose alignment after a while, you slam them down, and you fucking, <laughs> and that shit breaks. Yeah, that already hit a deer, right? You got the you got the Spartan helmet, the front plate, nice. This is really nice to put in your car because it lets you know that there's a free Glock inside. Dude, come on, man. I was I was just fucking around until I saw the stripes. Why does everybody do this? I personally think that the stripes on the headlight is like the worst. I get it, I get it, everyone likes it. You know, for some reason, I just think it looks so bad on anything. There's not a car that I think looks good on. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of 10. Whew, that one was uh, interesting. Um, <laughs> seems like a good time though. We can take a quick break and talk about today's sponsor, which is Ridge Wallet. Everyone needs a Ridge Wallet and there couldn't be a better time to get one for yourself or a loved one than right now. Because from right now up until December 20th, you can save up to 30% off by using the link in my description, ridge.com slash do with Dan. I've already picked up a few for some of my friends and family this year. Like this one, which is their new Hyper Lime Edition and their ceramic coated ones as well. Ridge Wallets are great because they can hold up to 12 cards. Plus they still have room for cash via the money clip or the money strap without it being a bulky wallet. There's also a very popular air tag attachment so you never have to worry about losing your wallet again. And they also block RFIDs so you're protected from scammers and skimmers. With over 30 colors and styles, there really is something perfect for everyone. But don't just trust my word for it. See for yourself why they have over 80,000 five-star reviews. And you can take advantage of their risk-free 99-day trial. That's right, they'll let you test drive it for 99 days and see if you like it. And if you're absolutely not stoked, they'll send you a full refund. And did I mention they have a lifetime warranty as well? I've got you covered for this holiday. All you gotta do is click the link in my description, ridge.com slash do it with Dan, and you can save up to 30% off. And enter in a chance to win a bundle worth $4,000. No purchase necessary. Thank you again, Ridge, for sponsoring today's video and helping my viewers out this holiday season. I appreciate it, they appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Ah, yeah, yeah. We got a, a Fusion RS, it looks like. You know, man, like hatchbacks, I think they're kind of cool. They're, they're whatever, to be honest. Like, I used to think hatchbacks were cool, and then like the Veloster turbos kind of killed that for me, right? These cars are badass. They, they make tons of power. They're, they're turboed inline four cylinders, I believe. Damn, what? The RS is a 2.3 turbo that 350 horsepower? That's crazy. I didn't think they were that high. Almost 3,700 pounds, that's kind of fat. That's not bad, man. I mean, you, you have it in probably like the most boring color they make, like weird bluish gray. I hate it, I hate that color. Outside of that, classic, fun car. I mean, I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. It's kind of cool. Uh, all wheel drive charger, that's cool, but it's a V6, I'm not gonna look at that. I'm gonna look at your Trans Am though. Had a 455 under the hood, so it, it doesn't now. It's got a 442. Oh, dude, listen to that belt squeak. Oh, 
<laughs> you hear that belt squeak? Uh, it looks fucked. I like Trans Ams, but it looks beat. I'm getting uh, northern state vibes from your environment, too. So you know this thing's probably rusty. What is what is up here? Is it Indiana? Iowa? I can't tell. It's Iowa. It might be Iowa's plate. Iowa plate, maybe? Can't tell. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely northern city. You know that thing's probably, ugh, it's probably rusted, too, underneath the back. Ah, Four out of ten. Okay. All right. Fart on my balls. Mr. N up here said that he traded his lifted Grand Marquis for a C4 Corvette. I really like the way the C4 Corvettes look. I think they, they are one of the better looking Corvettes. Uh, C4, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10. Because it's gonna need a little bit of work, but it's gonna be a really cool car. My guy, what are these wheels? Like, this wheel is being held together with Facebook likes and prayers. Average Ohio residence car. Extinct Lords. He's got his, uh... GMC Yukon Denali, very nice. These are nice. It's like if you didn't want to spend money on getting a Cadillac, this is what you bought. It's like, I want the engine and I want the size. You know, I want the convenience of a Cadillac, but I don't want to spend Cadillac money. You go for the GMC Denali. And this guy has decided to cram, it looks like 212 stubs in a big box back here. We can't play that, it's copyright. We can't play that. Look at this, look at this, look at this gentleman. Wearing Crocs, of course he is. And we got the girlfriend picture on the dashboard too. I feel like I know everything about this man that I've ever needed to know. Not bad, I've been here. Five out of 10. Oh, Gage. Oh, buddy. 2009 Pontiac G8. I believe these things came with a six liter. Ugh. I love it. Very clean. I mean, let's get up on here and expect it. He's got a block puller. That's interesting. <sighs> I love it. I think it's great. Look at the student driver back here. I like that too. Full bolt on cam D85. I'm gonna guess 460 wheel horsepower, if I had to guess. Everyone has a different idea of what full bolt on means. Eight and a half out of 10. It's gorgeous. And it's a cool car. It's bitchin'. Absolutely bitchin'. And they don't make them anymore. It's even cooler. Jared Fogel? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This is my amazing hoe. He's got a fucking avalanche. This, oh, I hate avalanches, dude. It's like a Honda Ridgeline, but for women. Probably my least favorite Chevrolet product ever made. Next to their knockoff PT Cruiser. They're not bad trucks, they just look weird. That whole weird back half rack system. It, they do look like a Ridgeline to me, and that's what I think of them when I see them. I'm gonna give it, based on this photo, Four out of 10. My 67 Cornet RT project with my dad. 444 speed sounds amazing. Mmm. Mmm. That dash is cracked, not bad though. Damn. I like the way that thing sounds. Looks like you've done a lot of work. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. And uh, I like it. I like it. That's gonna be cool. Definitely a six and a half out of ten. Jacob and his 1987 R2O. Back when trucks were trucks. Back when men were men and women were women. Did the R20s come with a 454? I think they did. Oh shit, what does he got back here? Well, old school crotch rocket back here. Alright, that's a good setup. I like that. You can tell he likes it too, by the way he parks it. You know, honestly, like, there's some, you got some, you got some rocker rust down here. That's cool. That's no big deal. So, it looks like it's a northern truck. It's gonna see rust. But I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Alright. What are you doing? What is going on? Wait, 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 did you just reverse neutral drive drop? Do like a J turn except in reverse? What did I just witness? There we go. Did I just witness a reverse reverse entry? Play that again. What is he doing? <laughs> so what's going on? It looks like he's doing a reverse donut. He's doing like a reverse donut, slamming it into drive and then peeling out. Dude, those CV axles are fucked. Oh, he's fucking Canadian. Fuck yeah, bod. Oh, fuck yeah, bod. Oh yeah, eh? Throw in D. I don't fucking know. I mean, where, where do I even, how do I even rate that? It's goofy as shit. It sounds like you've just dumped the exhaust. Fucking 2014 Camry, just race car shit. What am I supposed to do with this information? Six out of 10 for the reverse reverse entry. <laughs> this dude's giving us 
All this information, I'm Jacob and I live in New York, dude. 1979 Chevy Camaro Z28 with 350 small block Chevy. I like cars that look like this. It's gonna get, like, it's not, it's not perfect. It's literally in a project phase. But you're still driving it and getting out. I'm gonna give that a five out of 10. 2005 F250 60 power stroke diesel, fully bulletproofed, making 500 wheel horsepower. This man spent $30,000 to bulletproof his 6.0 just so it could get dragged by a Cummins. That's crazy, dude. I'm just kidding. I know the amount of work that it takes to put into one of these trucks and get it to not blow up is actually a ton. Either you keep these trucks and you keep them 100% stock, you modify them and blow them up immediately. <laughs> Those needle bearings are going to leave imprints on your piston heads. It's just what's going to happen, dude. Or spend the money and bulletproof them, which is not cheap, just so it won't explode. And your fuel system. You got to do the fuel system too. It's a lot. You know, like even even though that I'm not a Ford truck fan, I'm gonna give this a solid seven and a half out of 10. A lot of work, a lot of work. Here is my autistic ass car. It's ugly and goes places it shouldn't be capable of going. Kind of like me and your mom last night. Is this a fucking element? God dang, he's right. This is basically a Honda's equivalent of the Pontiac Aztec. The fact that you out and about it and take it overlanding or whatever you fucking do with it. I'm gonna give you a uh, four and a half out of 10. Still an element. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. What have... Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is fucking cool, all right? This is exactly what I'm looking for. This is badass. This is so, this is so great. This is an Isuzu uh, Via Cross. They're not like fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Most people didn't do this with them. It was like a solution to a problem that no one really had. This is a fucking cool car though, dude. This is an eight and a half out of 10. The cool factor is through the roof. I think this is a good place to call it for today's video. Doing the car roast was fun. If that's something that you guys like, you wanna see more of the car roasting stuff, please leave a comment. And like I said, if you wanna hop in in Discord, you wanna have your car roasted, uh, the link for that is in the description, you just join and uh, you go to the hashtag cars section and then submit your car. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. My preference would be multiple photos of your car with a little bit of information. I basically guess with most of this other stuff. If you don't have the information on there, I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna get it wrong and people are gonna make fun of me. So um, one car, multiple photos with some information would be nice. That being said, I hope you guys had a awesome Thanksgiving. Be on the lookout for the video with my dad coming. I got stuff for the Dually coming. We're getting ready to start on the Camaro, the 73, and I, cause I got a ton of cool stuff with that. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna try to get some moto vlogs before the end of the year done because it's been very cold and very rainy for the past couple days as well. So I'm, I'm gonna do my best to get some good content out. I had to take a, a lot of time off to get the fence done, uh, but that video will be really cool. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.